the, the decent or the better doctrines I had off my lands connects and I moved them onto uh, halberds pretty quickly. I never played shields, like any big shield unit really. Um, and I got the iron cap shields unlocked with like ridiculous prepare for rivals. So, Slurf Slayers on the attack. Right, what we got? <clears throat> A lot of moles, four Sloth Blockers, four Short Swords, two Polaxes, two Muskets, a Jewel Blade, and a Pike. The attackers have got four Pikes, a Jewel Blade, one Musket, a couple of Nodachi, one Polax, four Short Swords, one Long Sword, and a Mole. It'll be interesting to see how it goes down here. Uh, good, like four sets of Keshigs for the attackers. They've got a couple of set. No, they've got one Falconetti, one Flame, and then Shenjis. The defenders, on the other hand, have got one Shenji as well, and I couldn't see the rest of the deck. But they're starting with one Shenji, if you like, as a special. And then they've got a good wedge of Modao, Berserkers, Javelin, a couple of sets of the new Huskal unit as well. The new Huskal unit could work if it gets its chance. Absolutely shreds, but it's Getting the chance off <clears throat> that makes it difficult. They've got a couple of sets of jabs out as well. One set of aerial issues. Got a bracket. Pretty decent setup. Uh, I didn't see where the spawn points were for Surf Slayer, so we'll see very quickly where they are going to push. And I'll get into the air as quickly as possible. Go for. They basically did a 50-50 split on A and B, probably just to get both gates down. Uh, the one Falconetti from the attackers from Mask Flame is probably going to get a breach down. Mask Flame's over here. He's not actually shooting the breach though, so they're not going to get the breach down. Never mind. Looks like they're just going to do a full-on split push on A and B at the minute. The defenders though, they do have Kaylee enough, three sets of them. They don't have any Flame, and they have one set of Falconetti for the later fight. Winged Assars, obviously Cataphracts have been banned. Is that Monastic? So is that the uh, French? The Owls as well. What do I play? Elias, what do I play? Like, hero-wise. Um, I started playing Glaive and smashed out Glaive for ages. And then I used Short Sword back in the day for, for Territory War. And then I actually looked the other day. I think it was between Season 7 and 8 I changed to Polax. And I basically played Polax since. Um, and then I literally tried more yesterday. And I'm EU1 now as well, Devil AFK. I moved EU1. Didn't Territory War yesterday though. Something came up so I wasn't able to join. Right, so both gates appear to be down. Statements decided to come out and nuke Arca. You're going to kill him though. Well, he is now because Shady's jumped on his face. There we go. Bye, Arca. Not very well played. <laughs> Been taking lessons from Header. <laughs> right, so the defenders have got a defense in the background as well. Oh, the Shen Shenji bombs could do work, man. Hit a wide area from the attackers. That's Header's Shenji's doing doing some good work. Some of the attackers are trying to get around here and get into these units. This is a very similar setup that we saw from Plebs at the beginning, but Plebs had flames up. Obviously, flames are bad. I want to say they're banned. I'm not going to check though, we're, we're in a fight. There's nothing pushing B. Arca's respawned on the B side. Uh, pretty solid push coming here. They've still got 13 trebs up. They are now getting capped points off on A. Ooh, they've got close range Falconetes though. Going shotgun. Oh, they do have flames up. Oh, it's the defenders don't have flames with them. So the, the attackers have flames and they have Falconetes. God Hashi's trying to get into the units here and get rid of them. Header's bombs just absolutely nuked the shields there. I don't know if it got rid of the units. Shenji is here from the attackers pushing in. Interesting fight so far. I've completely missed the fight back here. The defenders are doing work, man. To, to retake this back, this back position back off the attackers. 
The attackers seem to have control of A, but there's enough pressure from the defenders that they can't actually get a cap going. What house are sloth blockers? Um, I think they're a mix. It used to be Jack Ultra as the team. I think they've got a lot of players from like Clown Fiesta and stuff. I'm not actually 100% sure off the top of my head. They are at least all EU one. But I think they're like Clown Fiesta guys like Origin Eden and stuff like that, if, if I'm not mistaken. I know Header's Origin, I believe. Right, so the defenders just dropped like half of their team. The attackers absolutely clearing up here. Header's trying to defend... Oh no, he's trying to get rid of enemy Shenjis. Oh no, that is his Shenjis. He's red. What am I on about? Um, Dark Flames and Rock Swords jumping on him along with Mask Flames. Surf Slayers have got control of the A point. Corn's just sat on there getting the cap off. And by the way, thanks for follow Corn. I don't know if you were... Uh, I said that before. I think I would have done. I'm terrible, so it's best to check it. Header just died. Rip Deader. We missed it though. I can't zoom in on his body because I don't know where he is. But the attacker's Surf Slayers push A. Header's dead. Looks like it's GG already, boys. <laughs> yeah, I think it's mainly Origin, like what Temple said. So they're getting B, they're getting the resupply on the B side. They're pushing up already, putting pressure on C. Shady could lose his cavalry here for no real gain. A lot of heroes just jumped on and cleared half the unit. Um, some cavalry coming up from the attack as well. Those are Keshigs. They should get rid of the rest of the Liao's fairly easily. Um, that's rough, man. I've basically spawned here because... That was the spawn point, and then tried getting back up to the... Because you can't go this back way, because they don't get through the archway. You have to go this way, and just got ruined. Rough. Rough, rough times. So, they are getting the supply as well. Or the, the, the harbour. I think they just made a mistake, though, don't they? They need the harbour first. I don't think it makes a difference, but... Pretty sure those berserkers now are just going to go and sit up on C and aren't going to be a, a be a factor in this game. So sloth blockers lost like double almost. The units of surf slayers just lost. We're gonna have a quick check hero wise. Fifteen to eight, so about double as well. Um, Jackie's up there just putting pressure upon, seeing where units are. The defenders do have falconettes out. They've got winged stars and they've got uh, coconuts as well. Defending this last point is going to be rough. Ten minutes. This is a difficult point to, to, to hold, especially with 10 trebs left. The attackers have got a good wedge of very strong units. They've got their own Shenjis out. They've got a couple of, no, they've got one unit of Keshigs. They've got Banner Lords, a couple of Berserkers, Claymores as well. Very aggressive front line. Not much staying power. They've also got Shields and Palace Guards. And I'm a Dao, I suppose you could say, the staying unit. But they're going to struggle, man. Are they actually going to push this back route? Or are they just doing it to make them rotate this way and they're going to go middle in a second? No, uh, Flamers aren't banned on this one. It's Reapers and Cataphracts, that's the one. Yeah. It's because I looked at the Defenders, they didn't have Flames, so I just assumed that the, the, the Flames were banned. And Toxie Genie, thanks for the follow, my guy. So those Winged Asars avoided pretty much all of the Trebs, to be fair. Looks like Surfs are actually going to push this west side. That's interesting. Normally that never gets pushed. This side normally never gets pushed. It's such a small point, it's like fairly easy to block. Ooh, them Shenji bombs though, getting rid of the Falconettis, or at least forcing them out of position. The shields are already in, so they're not going to be able to get braced here. That's going to be a pretty easy fight to win, I think, for Surf Slayers. They've got Palace Guards and uh, Slidars pushing in now, though. Over here, looks like it could be a very different story. The attackers have pushed through all over the place here. Not many trebs coming in. Oh, they, they tried trebbing the Shenjis, but the Shenjis are already gone. Winged Asars there, kind of started charging and then stopped. Really strange. Really strange. That was... I don't know what happened there. Hero-wise, they're basically even. It looks like Surfs have got control of the point here, though. There's still a good chunk of defenders fighting there, but there's not really enough of them left. The Shenjis here are going to be able to do a little bit of damage, but they're just going to get blocked at this point here. They're not going to be able to resupply. The defenders have dropped half their team as well, so the attackers just need to basically get a guy on point, and they're going to start capping. That was quick Temple art, yeah. Yeah. Very quick. Very, very... I'm looking forward, Temple, to seeing you against Surfs in round 7. I think that's going to be a very good matchup. And it's it's basically GG. The attackers just need to block this here so Edging can't get in. Even if he does get in, there's enough heroes here that are going to be able to kill him fairly easily. His Fort Brachios that are running down are going to be too slow. Scrato's eventually going to die. 
Look at all the Keshigs running through. That was, what, a solid 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. GG Surf Slayers. GG Surf Slayers. Jackie Trim with the MVP. Mass Flames second. So 3 2 10 110. 3 1 8 66. Um, I don't know what happened on that first push. It looked like Cloth Blockers were actually doing a really good job. Then all of a sudden they just all died. I think every engage yeah, every engagement was won by Surfs there. Like with a pretty decent margin as well. Like before the first fight here was obviously very even, but that was like the calm before calm before the storm. That was the time it took them to run up to sea and get stuff sorted there. So 